Hey, this is Tyler Beck with this week's Fusion 360 Quick Tip. Let's take a minute to talk strategy for fixing errors in your Fusion 360 models. If you're like me, when I was starting out with a CAD tool, if I came across a problem, I would calmly go up and close the file. This is incredibly inefficient, so let's talk about a better way. First, let's look at errors versus warnings. Errors pop up in giant, loud red, and that means catastrophic, cannot solve, you can't even see it in the model. The warning is a little more mellow. It's still solving, it's still showing you the results maybe in the model, but it's missing a reference, it's missing a sketch, it's missing a sketch plane. So first things first, roll back to the beginning of your first error or warning. So let's look at our example. We go back and we review the warning. The first warning is it's got a reference failure. Something about the sketch plane is lost. Right click, redefine that sketch plane. I select a plane that's as close to the original as I can find. I select this flat face. Now going to the next, we review. Looks like it's again missing geometry as a part of the reference. I'll then redefine that sketch plane, select an edge that's similar to the one before, and now, the next error, we have an extrude that's failing to solve, and what's interesting is the sketch is missing. We then roll back before the extrude, sketch again, either remeasure the old extrudes that's there, or you can sketch an entirely new shape, like I'm doing here. Select the profile and attach it to the extrude. The final error in my tree is catastrophic. It's a failure to solve the fillet. I'll then reselect an edge, give it a new value, and resolve. So bumping into warnings and errors in a CAD tool is completely normal. It happens when you're making design changes. So hopefully you feel a little more confident to go in and make those updates as you go through and fix your errors. Thanks for watching.